Hello everyone, Mr. Haku Paku back with another video. So over the summer, I joined a bowling league. The bowling league in Tucson, Arizona, it consisted about, I would say 12 to 13 weeks, very short league. And around the same time, I got switched sports. And when I first got switched sports, I stuck to a line you know, I uh, stuck to a line where I just threw the ball and the ball gravitated towards the pocket most of the time. But I was wondering if I could replicate the way I bowl on Switch Sports. And what I found funny is that when I did bowl the way I do in real life on Switch Sports, the results were very similar. Though it looked a lot prettier on Switch Sports, I would say. The hook, it looks a lot better. The spares are a little more consistent. Uh, my average on Switch Sports is a lot higher. Um, in League, my final average was about one, 121 pins. It's not so good, but, you know, I'm, I'm still learning the game. Uh, but on on Switch Sports, I believe my average fluctuates between 140 to 160. Um, but in this game, this game in particular, it was pretty close to the way I bowled in real life. And uh, fun fact, uh, the video the video of me bowling and me playing Switch Sports, it was on the same night. But as you can see on the right, the video on the right, it's me bowling in real life, and I'm not very consistent. Uh, the, the ball rolls differently each time, each, each frame. Um, the spares that look easy to get, I miss. Sometimes I get gutter balls. The strikes don't look very pretty. They look more like I, I just got lucky versus switch sports you know when the ball rolls when it's going down it looks nice and smooth um and if i miss the spare or the strike it's basically my own error of releasing the ball too early or not throwing properly uh, i guess you could say that that is a variable in real life but you know switch sports doesn't have the the variables of like lane conditions, pacing, um, you know, whatever noise or distractions you may face in a bowling alley. Because, uh, you know, when you're bowling in real life, you're swinging like a 15 pound ball, you know, so fatigue uh, is a factor. Whereas in Swiss sports, yes, you can get fatigue, but what you're what you're um, swinging around is like a weightless controller so it probably would take you a lot longer to get tired uh, it probably would take you maybe 10 games playing switch sports to get as tired as playing two games in real life bowling but we'll see if i do more videos like this i, I did have fun um at least filming and trying to compare uh, both videos it, it actually uh, it actually helps me see where I could do better uh, not just in switch sports but also in bowling um, and that's the whole point of me doing this so as you can see I ended up with a 124 in real life 130 in this game so hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time